My line keeping an eye on every player, Wiser controls every room. We were speaking to Rob this morning, Ollie, and he, he talked about last week being a funny old game um, and did the research. They only had three entries into into uh, our 22, but it seemed a lot tighter than that and it was a huge win in the end. Yeah, it was um, it was tight. We obviously got those few points to win the game in the last five minutes. Um, very strange game. I haven't played in those conditions. The wind was sideways. It was probably the coldest I've been on a rugby pitch. So um, I'm glad to put it behind us, actually. Um, in terms of it, though, it was a huge challenge. And Rob says, as players, as a group at the moment, you seem to be thriving on these challenges. You're in new ter new territory almost that you are normally around the top two, but here you are yeah. trying to get in that top four. Yeah, um, I've been lucky enough since I've joined Chiefs not to have many of the seasons, most of the seasons by this point in the year, we're kind of eyeing up the top spot, one or two, and we just kind of really, say, going through the motions, but enjoying wins and expecting wins. And um, us and the team and the fans are probably getting to the last five minutes of games and kind of don't know don't know which way it's going to go. But I think with these pressure pressured games, uh, we're getting some really good experience and really good performances out of the youngsters. And now our squad is looking very deep, especially when we've got the uh, international boys coming back. You're talking about those youngsters. It wasn't that long ago where we had a, another batch mm -hmm. that we had to bring through. This is the next team that's coming through. Yeah. Excited about what you see? Yeah, definitely excited. Um, it makes the future for, look very exciting for Chiefs, but this season especially, like we've got teenagers, we've got boys that are 20, 21 that could put out really good, consistent Premiership performance. And if you were to go on and succeed this year, it'd probably be one of your greatest triumphs, wouldn't it? Great triumph. Um, we got our academy to thank for that because they've stepped up in, in this period of time, January, February. It's a really difficult, sometimes unenjoyable time to play, especially when you've got Storm, Eunice or Frank you're knocking about. Uh, frustrating start to the season, but now you're back in the mix and that. I know you're probably not a great watcher. What's it like being back and and out on the pitch and yeah. hearing the old Ole song yeah, going? Oh man, that's, uh, I'm more grateful for that than ever. Um, it was probably the longest period of time I hadn't played um, professionally. So it was um, it was a very difficult time for me, but now I've kind of had time to reset, had time for my body to rest and um, I'm feeling uh, really good and I'm enjoying being on the pitch and it uh, feels better than ever having um, a packed out Sandy Park. Not Sandy Park this weekend but Franklin's Gardens but Northampton, huge huge encounter in itself. Yeah, we're um, on similar points on the table, I'm not sure exactly where they are, maybe below us or one or two below us. Um, so they're scrapping, we're scrapping, it's going to be a physical game um, and both teams are going to be wanting to score tries. But it takes us nicely into this next block of fixtures. Rob's talked about that last block. Had you won against Wasp, it would have been almost perfect. But mm. this next four is huge as well. Yeah, um, we do like to approach games and kind of block uh, the Premiership in terms of blocks. Um, we've just come out of a really difficult one. But going into this is a good place to start uh, against Northampton. Um, if we win this game, it's every, there's so much to play for in every every uh, every week. So if we win this game, we kind of keep marching forward and then to the end of the season we'll, we'll kind of snowball and we'll have this really huge momentum going into the big, the big uh, playoffs. Well you've been around the Premiership long enough, is this the toughest year we've seen? Teams seem to be, you know, everyone's on their game. Yeah I think, um, yeah you don't really have the kind of team at the bottom where you guarantee a win, uh, even Bath, um, they are a bit of a kind of wounded animal at the moment, they're, they're, they've dropped a lot of points, a lot of, um, a lot of losses but those losses have been quite tight at times and they've got internationals across the board. Uh, London Irish, a team that we, we comfortably beat for years, have just done the double on us. So every every uh, team is very competitive. You talked about you don't like teams doing a double on you. Saints won here, albeit very close and mm -hmm. in the last few minutes, but it's a chance to go up there and almost repay a, a debt almost, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's definitely a bit of, um, you know, it's always good playing, ga playing games with a bit of emotion. Uh, it kind of cheers you up, motivates you. Um, there's so much to play for, and that's just another thing to kind of get get yourself up for it. 